So I want to read Romans 13. Romans chapter 13. So, book. just to remind you, we think it's a game. We think that we just play a monopoly, but the other nations are learning to own businesses, to own properties, to not only own those things, but to defend them and make sure that they keep that wealth within their family. Go ahead. It's the book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. So the first thing we got to realize is, though the other nations have such a monopoly, they only have that monopoly because the real monopolist, the, the, the real owner of all the lands, is allowing them to have right. it. Go ahead. Verse 2. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to them to receive to themselves damnation stop there so when we resist the monopoly of the other nations that they have over all of the resources that that we wish that we had we got to think about it if we're not resisting if we're not adhering to what the the real monopolist the most high god is putting in place then we're actually resisting god it says whosoever therefore resists the power resist the power of the people who have all that ownership they're resisting the ordinance of god and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation so our goal should not be on the resistance of the other nations that have the monopoly but it should be well what do i have to do to make god or allow god to put me in the power seat see we keep fighting the wrong fight the fight really is within ourselves when we want to keep fighting the other nations. Mm -hmm. Now don't get me wrong. There's a battle within the battle here. When you fight the, the spirits within you, you automatically by default are fighting against the other nations. As we read on, we'll see more of that. But we got to focus our attention in the right area. See, a lot of people's attention is focused on don't vote for this president. Well, you voting for a president is not changing anything. Defund the police. As we read on through this, we're going to say, mm, maybe the police ain't the problem either. Mm. We keep focusing on all these things saying it's the other nations that's the problem. But the only reason these other nations are in power is because God ordained that power. Read on. Verse 3. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. So have you been receiving terror? Then you got to ask yourself, well, am I the evil? Because if I was in the midst of the good works, would I be receiving that terror? Go ahead. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and that shall have praise of the same. So maybe as we keep trying to play this game, we haven't been playing right. We haven't been playing in a way that is good. We've been trying to play according to their rules. You know, be mindful. When Have you actually read the rules on the paper of Monopoly? No. No, you haven't. So whatever rules get told to you, you run with that. Mm -hmm. And you try to play with the rules that have been told to you. But you don't be winning, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> you, don't, you don't be winning. So now, read on. Verse 4. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. Mm -hmm. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. You should be afraid that you're going to continue playing this game round after round and lose in the midst of evil. Go ahead. For he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Go ahead. Wherefore ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Now I know nobody was thinking that this would be about monopoly. But if you start to examine the word, remember, as you keep reading these verses, you're going to say, wait a minute, I never saw that before. See, the, the person who thinks they read the Bible and know the Bible so well, you begin to see as you keep reading it, it keeps making new sense. Mm -hmm. Doesn't erase some of the old sense, but then it makes new sense. What does it say in that verse again? Verse 6, for for this cause pay ye tribute also. What is tribute? Give you an example. That's the tax. 
That's the rent. That's the, 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 the things that you are paying on that monopoly board to other landlords or, or, or monopolists on the game, right? Go ahead. For they are God's ministers, attending, attending continually upon this very thing. Render, therefore, to all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Mm -hmm. Honor to whom honor. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For... For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. See, there's some rules to the game of Monopoly that we didn't really understand, right? The original intent of the game, the landlord's game, was to show you that a Monopoly was bad and to teach you how that wealth generation in the whole community was better than one Monopoly having it. But we never read that history. We never read that, and we just get to the point where it's just like, bye, 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 take it all up. Oppress your brother to get it. Make sure that he falls down so that you come up. Now, that's cool. That's fun. That, that, that's competitive. But we didn't understand that psychologically, this game actually taught the players something. Now, while it taught one nation oppress these people, it taught another nation, man, I can't win if I try because there's a lot of people that never win the game of Monopoly. There's a lot of people, as we just said, that get too tired, and they might have actually had a chance, but don't nobody want to play a four-hour game. Mm -hmm. But Esau been playing the game for 450 years. They not tired yet. I guess you don't get tired of winning, though, do you? <laughs> you don't get tired when you win it. Go ahead. Verse 9. For this thou shalt not commit adultery. So wait. The ruler of this world was set up by the most high God. He's not a terror to good works, but to those that do evil. Now we're at verse nine. Go ahead. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not kill. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But the thing is, when you played Monopoly, I'm sure you had a brother over there conspiring to figure out how to help bankrupt you. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you had brothers on the side saying, all right, let's make this deal and get IBL out of here. Yeah. Shout out to Roe A. Uh. Conspiring with Uzziah uh. to get me out the game. Y'all ain't forget. Uh. I didn't forget. You, calm down. Y'all remember. Y'all remember the game of Monopoly will put spirits on you. Look, yeah. look at it. The anger is coming back, brother. Stay in the spirit. Stay in the spirit. Don't end up like Dre and flipping the game over, busting up the game. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let's read the scriptures. Okay. I'm sure the scriptures are calm your spirit, right? Read, t tell them what you want them to hear. Tell them uh, that verse again. They might need to hear it again. Verse 9? <laughs> or at what? least that last part, you know. Okay. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Roe, <laughs> Uzziah, do you want brothers to conspire against you and bankrupt you? Read on. <laughs> Verse 10. <laughs> love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Uh -huh. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So we read through this chapter, Romans 13, and we get down to verse 11, and it says, after all of that, that understand that there's going to be rulers over you that are going to be the ministers of God. For those that do evil, it'll be a terror to them. But for those who do good, it won't be too bad. Keep in mind that you got to love your neighbor as you love yourself. But then we get to verse 11, it says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. That comes right after the fulfillment of the law with, of, of loving your neighbor as you love yourself. Mm -hmm. Showing you that even though other people have all the resources and they've monopolized those resources, you're going to wake up at a point and come out of sleep and that's when your salvation is getting closer than it's ever been before. See, right now, during the time frame that the sister was bringing out in the video, the 450 years, salvation wasn't getting nearer. 
and we wasn't waking up. We was just still, let me go roll the dice again. Let me see if I can slide past to go to jail space. Let me see if I can collect $200. How, how, how much uh, excitement comes out of passing go and getting that $200 landing on the free parking, right? People get excited about that little bit of change. But God is saying, we're getting to a point where you're actually going to win. But many of us have never thought that we had a chance to win. If we're being honest, Abiel, if we would have played, have played Monopoly last night, you probably would have just played just for the sake of playing and would not have really even been concerned with winning. Am I wrong? No. You would have been like, I really don't want to play, but because his brothers and sisters in here, I'll play. Nope. But, Abiel, what if I said, we playing tonight, and I'm guaranteeing you to win? How would that change? Uh, I'm going to actually compete. I'm going to actually play to win. Oh, man. So, you mean to tell me, if I can back you up with some confidence that you have a shot at winning, and you have a chance of winning, and not only a chance, you're actually supposed to win, that's going to change the way you play? Oh, yeah. That's going to change the way you play. So you're not just going to be like, man, whatever whatever I roll, I roll. You're going to be thinking about it. You're going to be, you know how black people roll dice. They call that seven before it hit, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so your gameplay is going to change when you know that you can win. So keep that in mind that we done read verse, uh, chapter 13, verse 11, and that ensured us the chance to win. Second Chronicles 14 and 1. You got something to say, my brother? Yeah, shalom. Um, no, I just wanted to go back to the point when you were reading the Romans, man. This thing is really heavy because, you know, I don't know how many of us actually have really read through the whole chapter recently. Mm. But, like, even when you think about, you know, everything that's going on in society now, you know, as far as the, the police shooting us down, like, it'll stop there. Meaning as far as us uh complaining it'll say okay yeah we need to stop po police brutality but then when you sit there and address and say what about the black on black crime then jake want to get offended mm. and say no that's not what we're talking about but god is trying to show us something in romans 13 that yeah i'm using them to show you that because you steal from one another because you hate one another because you commit adultery with one another that's why i'm allowing them to kill you mm. so we'll never progress past the police brutality of them shooting us down until we realize that's what they're here for to get us back in line and for us to stop killing each other that's what they're here for. See, we mad at the at the police and the 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 government of, and the other nations of people for doing their job. We're mad at them for doing their job, but Shema, why ain't nobody mad at themselves for not doing their job? I'm gonna let y'all marinate on that one.